Hello friends, this is going to be another video in the Tailwind on Rails series and recently I received an email request from a Ruby friend to create a responsive sidebar that you can minimize uh, uh, and uh, if it is minimized you would see only icons, if it is not minimized you would also see uh, text and uh, if you refresh the page you, the sidebar keeps its minimized state uh, uh, based on cookie on something else. Actually, I have previously implemented a similar functionality as uh, drawn here in a real application. Here it is. So uh, I have this uh, toggle button. Uh, here it is on the bottom of the sidebar. If I toggle it and refresh the page, it will uh, stay toggled. If I uh, navigate anywhere, it will still stay toggled. If I untoggle, it will also save the state. And you see, when it is untoggled, I see not only the icons, but the text. And when it is toggled, I see only the icons. And here is uh, more or less the final result that we are going to have uh, today. So here is the application that we've been building in this Delvin on Rails series. Here we have a sidebar, and I have a couple of links, uh, and a toggle button. If I click on the uh, toggle, I don't see the text of the links, the sidebar is minimized, and uh, I see just the icons. If I click on toggle, we also see the texts. So let's build this kind of application. First of all, I'm going to navigate to a branch where I still do not have this um, implemented. And uh, here is the initial state of the application after these seven episodes. Okay, so we have a sidebar. Let's open our sidebar. Uh, application HTML, we have layout slash sidebar, here it is, and let's first of all do the CSS. So first of all, I will have a data attribute, data expanded equals true. And now we're going to have some conditional CSS. So let's say if data expanded equals true, let's change the background of this to green. So I will uh, say uh, uh, class equals, and now we're going to do some uh, CSS uh, magic so uh, we'll have data expanded equals true underscore and and we'll have background green uh, 400 so if data expanded equals true we will have a green background let's see if it works so now it is green i will set uh, data expanded to false and now it is not green. And this is the principle based on which we are going to do all the CSS changes. Now we need a way to uh, change the data expanded from true to false and vice versa. So we'll need to add a button. We're going to do this with stimulus.js. Let's create a controller. Rails generate stimulus. Sidebar. Let's run the server again. Bin dev. And I will open sidebar controller. And uh, here I will... Uh, uh, have a toggle action toggle we will have an event and let's add uh, a button for this i will add it in the bottom i will have equals button to uh nil i don't want to redirect anywhere uh data uh action uh, stimulus controller name sidebar and the action will be toggle uh do and here i will have uh, the text uh, toggle and next to it, I will have an icon to minimize. Okay, let's see how it looks. So here I have this toggle button. And when I click the toggle button, I have a full page redirect each uh, time. And I should be also hitting the sidebar toggle. So I don't want to have the full page redirect. I will say uh, <coughs> prevent default. So event prevent default. And now when I click on toggle, I don't have a full page. Uh, I shouldn't have a full page redirect. Something is uh, uh, not right. Sidebar toggle. Okay, refresh. Let's see. Actually, it is a rookie mistake. Uh, it does not uh, listen to prevent default because I did not uh, set data controller sidebar. So I'm going to set it here. I will say uh, data controller equals sidebar. Now let's uh, refresh the page, and here now I click on toggle, and I don't have a full page refresh. Okay, and now I'm going to change the state of uh, data expanded on the data controller element on this place where it is defined. So I will have uh, uh, const new state equals this dot element dot data set dot expanded. And uh, if expanded equals true, we will set it to false. If it is, does not equal true, we will set it to true. 
and I will say document.cookie equals site by expanded new state. I don't need to specify the path. Uh, yeah, this should uh, work. Uh, and we can log it in the console. Console.log uh, document cookie or better just the new state. New state. Okay, let's uh, click on toggle. And you see it changes from, no, it only sets to true. Uh, why is that? Well, we actually want to also update uh, the data expanded to be the new state. We should not only update the cookie. So I will say this element dataset expanded equals new state. Let's try again. I will click on toggle. And now, yeah, it toggles from true to false. So looks good. And you see each time I toggle, the color of the sidebar top uh, changes. So looks good. I will refresh the page. And after the page refresh, you see it still goes back to the initial state that was uh, set to true here. So instead of having this hard coded, I will have uh, cookies. And in the cookies, we have our sidebar expanded attribute. So we'll have this one or true. So it will be either true or false set from the cookies or true by default. Uh, let's clean this up to be multi line so that it is more readable. Okay, let's try once again. So now I will click on toggle. I refresh the page and it stays green. I will click on toggle once again. I refresh the page and it stays uh, uh, without a color. Okay, and based uh, on uh, this, uh, based on conditionally setting the data expanded uh, and updating the CSS based on this, we can uh, hide or show elements. So let's uh, start with the toggle button. If uh, uh, it is toggled, we will show only the arrow. If it is not toggled, we will also show the text. So let's say uh, uh, I'll put the text in span and I will add class and let's copy this. So if uh, data expansive expanded equals false, we will add the hidden class. Let's try again. So I have it as false now, I have it as true now, and you see it's visible. Let's uh, also have this uh, icon conditional. So uh, we'll have uh, the icon and uh, yeah, another icon for the untoggle state. Let's, uh, okay, here it is false and, and here it should be true. So uh, yeah, now it is not toggled and now it is toggled. And you see also the icon changes. Uh, let's uh, clean it up. We don't need the sidebar bottom text. Uh, we don't want to set the fixed width on the sidebar. We want to actually make it smaller. Then there is less content. So I will remove this uh, fixed width. And you see now it is uh, the biggest sidebar. I will uh, make it smaller. It doesn't become smaller because we have the sidebar top text. Let's uh, hide it or we can add the Another link here. For now, let's try to hide it. So yeah, here we have just the sidebar toggle button. I toggle, I see only the button. I untoggle, I see the button and the text. And when I refresh the page, the state is perceived. So looks good. And uh, in the similar way, you can do it for all kinds of other links. For example, link to home page. Let's add a link to root uh, path. Uh, we don't need any data attributes. I will have... Uh, a house here and the uh, home here. Okay, uh, I will remove this uh, conditional coloring. Uh, and yeah, I will have a home visible in both uh, cases, but here we will also have the text. So here we have uh, a house and home, I will click on toggle and I have only the house. And you see the sidebar takes as much space as it needs in both cases. But so I'm not hard coding the width, but uh, I uh, have text in the untoggled version and no text in the toggled version. So that's about it. Uh, basically, we added a stimulus controller that uh, changes the data set expanded from true to false. We write it to the cookies. We have conditional CSS that based on the data expanded attribute uh, shows or hides different elements. That's it. Thanks for being with me and see you in the next one.